<laughs> Good afternoon. What an amazing day. It's absolutely stunning. It's like mid 20s, 26, 27 degrees today. And I'm out fishing. I'm super chuffed. We've, we've both been, Daisy and I, we've been working all week. We've done nine days in a row uh, at Cow's Week, which has been great. It's been good fun with the food trailer. Uh, but unfortunately, Daisy had to work this afternoon as well. We had a day off yesterday uh, where we could chill and go to the beach, but Daisy had to work this afternoon. So I've got three hours of fishing, daytime. It's a little bit of a breeze, which is quite refreshing, to be honest. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely, whoops, absolutely glorious. Uh, I've seen a few fish move already on the way down, but I haven't got any lures. I'm not really into lure fishing, if I'm honest. I just want to throw some baits out. Uh, so I've got my cheapy rods today. I'll get set up, I'll show you. I've got my cheapy rods, my little uh, 25 pound jobs. And, uh, and I've got a little seven foot spinning rod, which I'm just going to dink down with a little plain lead, see if there's anything around. I've got no rag, couldn't get any rag today. Uh, so I've got a squid, I've got some crab, maybe. I've got to chuck a crab bit, bit out, maybe a bass. But I'm mainly after bream and see if there's any small species around. So let's get set up, get a bait in the water, and then I'll bring you back. Right, so, like I was saying, uh, I've got the old rods out, these are the first, well not the first, they're the second ones actually, they're the, the first 12 foot rods that I used, they were they were 24.95 each or something like that, I've got two rods for 50 quid, and I've kept them because they're alright, they've worked, and I caught fish in them, so I brought them out today, just for a bit of fun really, uh, I'm not out serious fishing or anything today, I'd like to catch some bream, uh, I've got my short stand, I haven't even got the thing, the, 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 uh, the cups out on them yet might not even do it I can't be bothered I don't know uh, two simple rigs I just quickly put some new um, snoods on these this afternoon uh, yellow bead a couple of stop beads a little sequin it's got a tiny little bit of black black lug tipped with squid uh, that's exactly the same uh, and on the other side I've got a tiny little bit of black lug basically I cut a whole lug into four uh, and that's tipped, tipped with crab leg uh, and I've put some new hooks that I haven't used before. They're actually size 4 carp hooks. They're quite small. They're a nice little shape. They're short shank. Uh, so I'm hoping they'll do the business. But let's chuck these out. And one to the right. Right, they're in. Oh mate, I'm chuffed. Uh, right, so quickly what I did want to say. Um, we've been in cows, like I said, we've been in cows for like nine days. And I met so many subscribers while I was there. Uh, it was amazing, probably every day met one or two. Uh, all really, really kind words. Uh, bumped into uh, Slamfish as well, Slamfish Isle of Wight. 
uh, super super sound dude uh, really trying to promote fishing on the Isle of Wight which is amazing uh, hopefully we're going to hook up together and do something uh, and just yeah loads of subscribers people that were over on holiday people that have been in contact have already commented asked about fishing places uh, and just in general and also before I went I, my last video I haven't edited it yet uh, saw a chap down in Gurnard as well and I just wanted to give him a shout out as well so basically every subscriber that I've met and every subscriber I haven't met to be fair I just want to give you all a big shout out and a big thank you I think I'm getting a little bit of interest in uh, both of them. See? see the one on the uh, the right, the furthest one away. Definitely going, I think. There you go. There we go, first cast, and that is a cracking bream, really nice. I am stoked, that was on black lug tipped off with a little bit of uh, crab leg. And I'm glad the crab legs work, because I've been really persistent with it, and I haven't really had anything until now. That is a lovely keeping size bream. Uh, yeah, tide has just turned, I got down about an hour after low tide, so. I mean, I've literally been fishing for 15 minutes. Beauty. Oh, right, let's get another rig in. Oh, that's an awesome start to the session. Like I said, I think the, the rods have actually only been in the water like 10 minutes. So. And that's the target. Like I said, today I really wanted to get a couple of bream for dinner. That'd be nice to cook something nice for Daisy when she gets home. Uh, yeah, so a couple of bream. I have got two whole spider crab. They're not very big. And uh, on the off chance, maybe a bass kicking around because we're right by the wall. So I thought as the a, a tide is coming in. Uh, I might chuck a bigger bait out, but I'm quite happy. Like I said, I have got this little rod I was going to just have a little play with, but I don't, I'm going li to leave it a little while just to see, because if it's quite busy with fish, then, then I won't bother. But yeah, awesome. I'm going to weigh that and see what it is. Yeah, just under one pound four. So, really nice size. Looked pretty big, actually, to be honest. I was expecting it to come in a bit bit heavier than that, but one pound four. But like I say, lovely eating size. I mean, that will feed both of us to fill it off each side. We don't eat, you know, masses of it. I'm not going to eat a whole one like that. But yeah, fingers crossed we can get some more. Thank you. 
just had a couple of good knocks in, picked it up. Uh, but I couldn't feel anything, so I've got a feeling that like that one could be stripped. Give it another couple of minutes, see if it comes back. I haven't moved the lead, so. Hopefully, it will come back and I can get another one. Yeah, as I thought, totally stripped, stripped clean. But well, that's great though. So I'm going to get another one straight back out there, see if I can't pick out whatever's having a go. Bit of interest on the right hand rod again. So that's got a three that's got a three hook flapper on it now. Or well, two up, one down really, which is normally clipped, but I didn't bother clipping it at all. I'm not like I say I'm not hoofing it out as far as I can. Maybe 60 yards, 50, 60 yards. Some pretty decent depth of water out there, maybe three, four meters. Uh, and that's got two bits of squid on the top and uh, some crab legs on the bottom hook. No worm this time. Just mixing up really, see what's what's working. It's had two knots on it and then it's gone quiet. So I'll rig the, get this get this other one baited up. So yeah, this is what the, uh, these are the rigs that I'm using. Well, that I started using, now I've got a three hook out there, but essentially it's probably about a 10 inch snood, little size four hook. I'll show you that, what I mean about the carp, using a carp hook. So look. They're quite small, but they're like a chenoux style. They look really cool. Uh, and it, hook, it hooked into that one, so. Whack that bit of black lug back on there, not let it go to waste. I've had two knocks on that rod. There we go. Another nice keeping size. I'm chuffed now, I've got two. We always come out with the, the sort of ambition to try and catch two keeping size fish, you know? Uh, especially when the bream. I mean, bass, Christ, I'm lucky if I get one. But bream, happy days. I'm super stoked. Oh, yes. 
miles closer in that time. I had to keep it close in. Uh, every time I'm getting a bit snagged and I've lost one rig, and one hook. Um, but it's worth it now because I've got two. Oh, great. So, fingers crossed I can get another couple. I thought, it, I mean, it dropped right off. I suppose I've probably been fishing for an hour now. And uh, let's say first fish in like 10, 15 minutes, a bunch of missed bites and then nothing. So, and it's been a little bit of a struggle, like the, the tide's really started to run. Uh, so I thought, well, I'll chuck one in a little bit closer. And lo and behold, I got in straight away. So, uh, I chucked that one virtually in the same place. Uh, I can't remember what I put on it as bait, but it's, it's going to be a combination of either squid uh, black lug uh, and crab legs. But yeah, it's been nice. It's just nice getting out in the sun. I've got tons of tons of uh, sun cream on. So. And so I've got another hour or so, maybe. I should check what the time is, actually. Yeah, so it's, it's 10 to 4. Um, so I've been fishing for probably, yeah, an hour, hour and a half. Uh, I've got an hour left, realistically. I need to get back. Uh, yeah, but we'll see how we do. Right, just want to have a, quickly show you what I'm sort of... Uh, what I'm casting into because it's absolutely glorious. You can see how clear the water is. Um, look, I mean, you can see all the rocks and everything, the weed. So basically, you got there's a, a sand sand patch that runs all the way through, uh, probably about 10 yards to maybe 30 yards, um, and that runs all the way up to the ledge. That's Warden Ledge that runs all the way out there. It's supposed to be mega mega good for bass fishing. I've never fished it. Um, I don't know why, I just never got round to it really. Um, but so essentially I'm casting now, I'm right, got one rod over slightly to the right, right on the edge, right on the edge of this uh, dark patch because there's another reef out there. It's more like sort of um, eel grassy rock. I mean, it's quite snaggy, so there must be rocks and reefy stuff out there. So at the moment I'm casting right on the edge uh, of that both rods so I'm not into it this time this time I'm casting on the edge of it to see if it will uh, bring something on because I haven't had a look I haven't had a bite since that fish basically I mean I've had the fish straight away a few missed bites then nothing for about an hour and then another fish and then nothing again so uh, probably only got about maybe 20 minutes half an hour left so we'll keep chucking them out I've got one rig made up and I'll make some more uh, when I bring one in but it's super super stunning but yeah, nice place to be, uh, and there's loads of blooming wasps about, but never mind. Just getting a good knock on the left hand rod then. So essentially, this time I've just put strips of squid on, a little bit of black lug on a couple of them, fed up the line, up the snood a bit, and then I've just threaded on a uh, quite a longish strip of squid, no bait elastic or anything. I know it probably won't stay on there for very long but I just wanted to make it look a bit more natural. As natural as a piece of squid that's cut into a perfect strip can look. Yeah, that first one wasn't even tucked. I've uh, been in there for about 15 minutes on the sandy pit, bit right on the edge. I thought it would be in a good spot for it, but the bait is completely untouched, so I've just launched it straight into the rocky stuff. I've only got about 20 minutes, so chuck that one straight back out. I've got another rig ready to go, so we'll see how we get on.
Well, unfortunately, it's five o'clock and it's time for me to go home. Uh, so I've given it two and a half hours. I've had two breams, so I'm pretty pleased to be honest. Uh, like I say, it was just to get out a little bit. I haven't been fishing for a while, so I haven't been really been putting too many videos up of late, so I do apologise. Uh, and I just want to say thank you again for sticking with me. Uh, I will be trying to get out a little bit more often now. We're not taking the food trailer out again at all now, so uh, it's time to enjoy the summer. Spend some time with the family, obviously, but on the odd occasion I can get out for a fish of an evening, and I will be. I'd like to try and get on some bass if I can. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to certainly make the most of it while the bream around and try and get a few for the freezer. Uh, so again, I just want to say a big thank you for uh, for sticking with it. Thank you again for watching. Uh, if you did like the video, then please do uh, push the like icon. And if you haven't already subscribed, then please do. Uh, yeah, and until the next one, please take care, stay safe, and uh, maybe I'll see you out there, as I have been for many of you. Cheers.